All right, this is a little update on my uh, Thorin's head shell uh, project that I did with a 3D printer. So here we have um, the original head shell that goes with this uh, uh, hopped up, I guess, uh, Thorin's TD-165. It also fits the TD-160 and I believe the 166 and a few other uh, turntables, I believe. Uh, it's the TP-60 head shell. Very hard to come by because they stopped manufacturing them years and years ago. And it just seems that uh, there's more tables out there than there are head shells. So that's driven up the price. And they're extremely hard to uh, come by. So I've managed to get one uh, for my table. This one, when I bought it, didn't have the uh, the head shell. So I got went on e eBay and I was just astounded at the price they charge for these things. So what I did was I rapid prototyped. Uh, a bunch of head shells uh, using my 3D printer and uh, some online CAD software, basically uh, Tinkercad and uh, some graphics programs like uh, Paint.net. And I made an original prototype, which is this one here. And uh, I made two variants, one that, uh, actually three variants. Um, based on whether you, you can get the, uh, the finger lifter uh, device, which you can see on the original head shell is made out of metal. Do you see that on, but right by my thumb there? So uh, they fetch ridiculous amounts of money for those things too, just for a little sliver of uh, steel to uh, uh, bend around the, uh, the head shell. I haven't actually made one of those yet. so. Rather than do that, what I did was I took my original 3D design and I extruded a little finger lifter thing from the uh, PLA plastic that uh, these things are made out of, and it works just fabulous. It works really good. So the first one I built, um, I didn't actually put the finger lifter on it, and I also made it uh, one with a 8mm stub on it with uh, four holes that coincide with the... Uh, the exact measurements of where um, the pins that you see on this bullet here that stick out of the original head shell uh, made up to the uh, to the uh, tone arm. So what I did was I built this initial one here and I just used a uh, sturdy copper let's get this better in focus and I just used sturdy copper uh, wire that in, in a straight thing and what I did was I just uh, uh, put those through the holes that were in the uh, the extruded 8 millimeter plastic uh, bayonet mount for the uh, the tone arm and then I just uh, this one's a mess I you know it was a prototype so I, I got glue everywhere and everything but the fact is I actually got it working and I have a video to show that which is uh, on my YouTube account so this one I snipped it off and I've, I went and uh, did other things with it, but uh, I actually got it to work, and it worked just just great. So, and that's uh, that was built because the bullet part, this little stainless steel, or it's uh, aluminum actually, with a uh, insulator, and then the four posts where the uh, the wires, the uh, uh, tone arm lead or the head shell lead wires go to the tone, mate up to the tone arm are really hard to find and there's a place in Italy that makes them but they're about 50 bucks shipped and I don't even know if they make them anymore I might have even bought the last one so anyway um, I made one with an 8 millimeter hole in it and that fits that bullet just perfectly so I made one with a with a finger lifter and one without and then I also did the same thing with the uh, the uh, sort of homegrown version both of them work and uh, the best one here's another one that you can see the holes actually where you stick the wires through and uh, then you just solder on your uh, your toner or your head shell leads and uh, just like this it uh, works really really well so here is the actual working version this one actually has the aluminum bullet that I got from uh, from Italy on it and I also managed to find a place where uh, they actually, it was in Russia, I think, that uh, clones the, uh, the Thorns um, uh, little aluminum plate that goes onto the, the shell. This one is an early prototype. There's a little bit of a glitch on this one, but, you know, I've got, I've got a better one. I'm just uh, 
wanted to show and demonstrate this uh, this operating. So let's uh, put her down. So um, you can see that it sounds just fine and what I've done is made sure that it's right on for uh, level and everything. Uh, it is a little bit lighter than the other cartridge so what I do is I put a little bit of blue tack in there to get the weight up uh, to be the same. And as you can see, And it just works. I mean, you can't tell the difference. And it sounds great. Uh, balances out very well on the arm. As you can see, it came out very nicely. So I'm tickled pink with it. And uh, now I have the ability to uh, produce my own uh, head shells. Uh, a variety of them and depending on the needs and what uh, what people and they even uh, the Russians I think it was Russia or Romania or something like that anyway they they also make a really cool black one uh, that they threw in with the, uh, the the aluminum one that I got so I'm gonna probably use the black one for the for the uh, 3d modeled um, head shells and that way I can have multiple head shells so I can have a bunch of different cartridges that I can just quickly um, Put on and take off uh, for varying uh, purposes like 45 or 78 records and well actually this one doesn't do 78 but I could do it for like beat up records I could have a you know a, a hefty conical um, uh, cartridge on it like this one here and uh, and or a good really good elliptical cartridge uh, like this one over here the great the uh, great -o. Anyway, um, just some ideas out there, and uh, all of these models are available on uh, on Thingiverse. So if you have your have your own 3D printer, all you have to do is go to uh, my Thingiverse. Just actually go to Thingiverse and just type Thorns, and you can see that I've also modeled a um, a 45 adapter. And I don't want to do this. Uh, this. No. Don't do this at home. Actually, it's it's underneath there anyway. I, I modeled up a 3D or the 45 adapter that are hard to come by on the thorns as well. So um, there you have it. Thanks for watching.